asked, who the hell is Black Adam? Hello and welcome back to my channel this is, why the fact not coming to all of you with a brand new video. I am no comic book expert but here is just some of the things I learn about Black Adam. Black Adam is a character appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character was created by Otto Binder and C.C. Beck, and first appeared in the debut issue of Fawcett Comics' The Marvel Family Comic Book in December, 1945. Since DC Comics licensed and acquired Fawcett's characters in the 1970s, Black Adam has endured as one of the archenemies of the superhero Captain Marvel Shazam and the Marvel Family aka Shazam Family. Black Adam was originally depicted as a supervillain and the ancient Egyptian predecessor of Captain Marvel, who fought his way to modern times to challenge the hero and his Marvel Family associates. Since the turn of the 21st century, however, Black Adam has been redefined by DC Comics writers Jerry Ordway, Jeff Johns, and David S. Goyer as a corrupted anti-hero attempting to clear his name and reputation. Featured roles in such comic book series as Justice Society of America, JSA, Villains United, Infinite Crisis and 52 have elevated the character's prominence in the DC Universe. In 2009, Black Adam was ranked as in 16th greatest comic book villain of all time. The character made his cinematic debut in 2022's DC League of Super Pets, voiced by Dwayne Johnson, who subsequently is starring as the character in the live-action Black Adam, releasing later the same year. And set in the DC Extended Universe Black Adam is reintroduced to the DC Universe in The Power of Shazam graphic novel by Jerry Ordway in 1994 an earlier post-crisis version of the character appeared in Shazam. The New Beginning and War of the Gods, but these appearances are not considered canonical in that story and the subsequent Power of Shazam, ongoing series Adam is a deadly and evil adversary for Captain Marvel. In this revised origin, Teth Adam was born on the 11th of September 1279 BC. Teth Adam is the son of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II, and impresses one of the high priests, the wizard Shazam, with his good deeds. The wizard gives Teth Adam the power to become the superhero Mighty Adam by speaking the name Shazam, an acronym for Mighty Adam's powers, the stamina of Shu, the swiftness of Heru, Horus, the strength of Ammon, the wisdom of Zehuti Thoth, the power of Aten, and the courage of Mehen. He does not draw powers from Shazam due to the demoness Blaze making a deal with the Egyptian god Set. Mighty Adam serves as Egypt's champion for many centuries, but becomes corrupted by the charms of a mysterious woman, revealed to be Shazam's evil daughter Blaze in disguise the bewitched Adam is convinced that he and his mistress should rule Egypt. So he kills the pharaoh and appoints himself ruler. Shazam learns of this and strips Adam of his powers, encasing them in a mystical scarab necklace. Adam's depowered body rapidly experiences the aging process that the magic had staved off and the former hero withers away into a dried cadaver in seconds. Shazam buries both the body and the scarab in the tomb of Ramesses II, where he plans for it to remain for all eternity. In death, the former hero is referred to as Kem Adam, Black Adam. Disillusioned by what he perceived as Adam's betrayal, Shazam waits several millennia before appointing a second champion to fight evil in his name. During the late 20th century, an unscrupulous archaeological aide named Theo Adam finds himself assigned to the Malcolm Expedition, financed by the Savannah Foundation to excavate the tomb of Ramesses II. Adam uncovers Kem Adam's tomb in a secret passageway, and leads his superiors, C.C. Batson, and his wife Marilyn to the discovery. Upon first sight of Kem Adam's scarab, Theo Adam becomes obsessed with the artifact, and kills both Batsons in order to steal it. Escaping Egypt, Theo Adam soon made his way back to America. The Batson's son, Billy has been left behind in the United States, and is drafted by Shazam to become the wizard's second champion, Captain Marvel. When Theo Adam first encounters Captain Marvel, he notes both Marvel's identical appearance to C.C. Batson and the lightning bolt insignia on Marvel's chest that had also decorated Kem Adam's tomb. Adam therefore has a revelation, and realizes that he is a reincarnation of Kem Adam. Grasping his stolen scarab, Adam speaks Shazam's name, and is transformed into the super-powered Black Adam. Black Adam reveals himself to Captain Marvel as the Batson's killer, and the two battle. Captain Marvel emerges victorious by snatching Adam's scarab, and therefore his power, away from him. However, he saves him from being crushed by a falling building. Marvel brings Theo Adam to Shazam, who wipes Adam's memory and takes away his voice, so that he cannot access his powers. This solution proves temporary, as Blaze re-enters her former lover's life, and helps restore his voice, memory, and powers. 
Although Adam appears during the Power of Shazam ongoing series first year of publication as a villain towards the end of the series run, Adam returns and announces that Black Adam and Theo Adam are separate personalities. Black Adam stands trial again for the murders of the Batsons, and is acquitted when it is revealed that his fingerprints do not match those of Theo Adam. The reformed Black Adam is still vulnerable to his murderous host's influence, and he attacks the Justice Society of America under Theo Adam's control in JSA No. 6, 1999. In subsequent issues, Adam joins supervillain Johnny Sorrows in Justice Society after Sorrow removes a malignant tumor from Adam's brain. He is sent to battle Wildcat and easily defeats him, showing how easily he could kill him by taking him about 25,000 feet above the ground, just high enough for them to talk while unable to go any higher without the human Wildcat freezing or suffocating, explaining the different ways he could kill him, and asking what he will give for his life. He shows him the Rock of Eternity where Sorrow has turned Shazam to stone with his cursed face that usually kills those that see him, also making contact with the Spectre, who provides them with additional information. Adam soon betrays Sorrow, and he and the JS defeat the Injustice Society. Black Adam briefly gives Flash the speed of Heru, enabling him to defeat Johnny Sorrow by hitting him at near light speed when he is paralyzed after Dr. Midnight showed Sorrow a previously recorded image of his own face, sending him from Earth to another dimension. Flash meets Black Adam in the past where he has been sent due to the great speed he traveled and again uses his speed, this time to return to his own time. After the Flash returns, Black Adam helps the JS a battle the Sin Eater, a Thanagarian demon. Claiming to be free of Theo's evil influence again, a repentant Black Adam requests membership in the Justice Society and is granted a probationary membership in JSA No. 21, 2002. During their tenure on JSA, writers Jeff Johns and David S. Goy redefined Adam's personality and background, focusing on the character's old-fashioned and militant ideals of justice, and his officious and strongly opinionated attitude. Despite this, he has stated on many occasions that he respects the Justice Society, particularly members such as Jay Garrick. Several other JSA members are shown to be skeptical of Adam's reformation, primary among them is the Atom Smasher, who later becomes Adam's close friend after Adam sympathizes with his decision to kill the near-immortal extant to save his mother. The writers also created added tension in the book by having Captain Marvel, who is wholly unconvinced that Adam has reformed, join the team. One JSA story arc, issues 39 through 44, features Marvel Hawkgirl and Mr. Terrific venturing back in time to ancient Egypt where they meet Mighty Adam before his corruption. During this visit Mighty Adam is grateful to meet Captain Marvel as Marvel's presence demonstrates that his legacy will survive him even with his children gone. When Marvel transforms back into Billy Batson, Adam expresses admiration for the young man's ability to handle the power of Shazam at such a young age, something he doubts he could have achieved himself. After returning to the present, Marvel notes that he has a better understanding of Adam's motives now after learning about the loss of Adam's family. Adam rebuffs the offer, commenting that Marvel cannot truly understand him, stating that, while they are not enemies they will never be friends. Johns and Goya used this story arc to slightly alter Adam's origin. The hero now hails from the fictional North African nation of Kandak, not Egypt, although he serves the Egyptian prince Khufu, who is later reincarnated as JSA member Hawkman. The character of Blaze is completely removed from the origin story, and Adam's rage is described as having resulted from the conquering of Kandak, and the murder of his wife and children, at the hands of a magically powered supervillain named AHK. Ton, whose powers resemble the future hero Metamorpho, who is working with the notorious immortal vandal savage Mighty Adam kills AHK Ton during the struggle, and returns to Kandak to reclaim it by any means necessary, including murder. The wizard Shazam does not agree with Adam's actions, and robs Adam of his powers and kills him. In JSA No. 45 2003, Black Adam and his team at the Atom Smasher both defect from the Justice Society. During the next few issues, Adam forms his own organization, which administers justice the way Adam wants it, an eye for an eye. His roster includes a mix of DC heroes and villains, including the Atom Smasher Brainwave, who was possessed by Mr. Mind Northwind and the rest of the Society of Fethera, Nemesis and former JSA Museum curator Alex Montez. The human host of the Demon Eclipso, Adam's Collective executes Cobra, a villain who has been acquitted by the legal system, albeit because his followers had threatened to blow themselves up if he was not released. When the JSA could have spared them his escape and the hassle of a trial by simply killing him when he was first captured, Adam then turns his attentions to his old homeland of Kandak, now ruled by a militant dictator whose actions had long been ignored by the United Nations.
Late 2003 began the publication of a J.S.A. Hawkman crossover story arc titled Black Rain, written by Jeff Johns alone, which features Adam and his malicious hostile takeover of Kandak. A war soon breaks out, with Adam, his comrades, and the Kandaki people on one side, and the Justice Society on the other. The dictator is finally killed by Atom Smasher. By the end of the arc, the JSA leaves Adam in control of Kandak, provided that he does not leave its borders, convincing him that he cannot enforce his rule on the world or he is no better than the dictator he had defeated. Brainwave is saved by the JSA. Mr. Mind is apprehended thanks to the Atom infiltrating Brainwave's head as part of an undercover mission to confirm whether Adam was brainwashing his comrades, and Nemesis and Alex both die during the battle when Alex loses control of Eclipso. Only Northwind and the Atom Smasher remain at Adam's side with the Atom Smasher later leaving when a time-traveling clash with Degaton results in him meeting Al Pratt in the 1950s and re-evaluating his past motivations. As Kandak's ruler, Adam is depicted as fiercely working to protect his people and his nation, although his arrogance is still a handicap when the Spectre attacked Kandak after being corrupted by Eclipso. Black Adam actually told his people that the JSO were also their enemy because he did not want to give his people the impression that he needed help to protect them, despite the fact that he was clearly outmatched by the Spectre's power. Black Adam is featured heavily in DC's 2005 Infinite Crisis crossover primarily in the Villains United miniseries as a member of the secret society of supervillains, which he only joins to protect Kandak from the society. Concurrently, in JSA the Atom Smasher leaves Adam's side to return to the JSA. The society is run by Alexander Luther Jr., a character from the alternate world of Earth 3, who disguises himself as the Lex Luthor of the post-crisis Earth. The Infinite Crisis Limited series centers around Alexander Luther's plan to restore the multiverse. Needing a member of the Marvel family to power the apparatus he has designed to recreate the alternate Earths of the multiverse, Luther has the society betray and capture Black Adam. With the help of the mind-controlling powers of the Psycho Pirate, Luther is able to control Adam and have him call down the Shazam magic lightning bolt to fuel the apparatus. The Spectre's rampage during the Day of Vengeance storyline has reverted all magic in the DC universe to a raw, chaotic structure, and the death of the wizard Shazam has transformed him into a tether that can be used to harness magic. Allowing Alexander to use any member of the Marvel family to power his equipment if the wizard's name is spoken. By the end of the miniseries Black Adam is freed by Superboy and Nightwing. Adam quickly kills Psycho Pirate, and following a failed attempt to defeat Superboy Prime, which reveals that magic does not affect Superboy Prime, as Adam's blows allegedly only tickled, he is transported to Earth. 5 when he is punched to far from the tower by Superboy Prime. He joins the heroes, although he is generally regarded as being on his own side by the other combatants in the Battle of Metropolis, destroying Amazo shortly after his arrival. And that is it guys this is the who the hell is Black Adam, hope you all like this video and please don't forget to smash that like button. And you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my next video upload mega mega love shout out to my premier team, team Hainan and team warriors and all its very active and supportive members this is why the fact not see you all on my next video thank you for watching. Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go